One of the questions I get asked the most is how to install Blender easily and how to install Blender add-ons. So this tutorial will give you a quick look at how to do that. So you, first you want to go to blender.org go download and notice that it'll give you the latest stable version it'll also list different systems so go to the one for your system if you're on Windows you can pick between an exec, exec installer or a zip archive and let me tell you you'll save yourself a lot of headaches by going with the zip archive um, some reasons why the zip archive is just easier to deal with is that first of all the Python comes bundled with it so you don't have to go download Python or worry about it not being compatible um, version of Python also if you want to try out different blender versions experiment with different ones um, having them in zips will make it so that they don't conflict so you don't have to worry about that and also it's just easier to find your add-on folder when you use the zip so believe me you should go with the zip if you have a choice so just click it and it's going to start downloading for you in a while already downloaded so I'm going to drag this over here. All right, and then I'm going to unzip it. You can extract it with whatever compression software you have. Really matter. And Here's my file. So I want to open this until I see the Blender application. And you know it's the Blender application because it says Blender and it says application. Now this folder, 2.59, scripts, add ons. This is where you put any add-ons that you download. So if you download an add-on from some place, you know, Python script, you might even have folders with it, you would take those scripts and the folders that came with it and you would drag it into this add-ons folder. Okay? So I'll take this. And by the way, this is the patched copy bone weights script that I was talking about in the last video. So you would drag it over here, and there it is. And now you can go back here. And also, if you wanted to make a shortcut, just right click, create a shortcut, drag it to your start menu, to your taskbar, whatever. And then you could just open it like any other file. Okay. Now, at this point, you need we have our add on in the add on folder, but it's not activated. So you have to go to File, User Preferences, Add ons. I already have it activated. But I'm going to uncheck it just to show you what it looks like. So when it's not checked, it's not activated. You won't see it in the in the program. So to activate it, just check it. Just that something. And it also has a search if you get if you forget where it is or you don't want to scroll through the whole list, you can search for it and by the words in the title and you find it. So we have it activated. And then we're going to say save as default. I also like to save user settings too, just double, like double share. So that when you open this file again, when you open Blender again, all those will be activated and you don't have to do it every time you open up Blender. 
and there it is, bone rate copy. So the next video I will do another quick video about how um, to use this script um, when you want to copy some bone weights over. Until next time.